The Consequences of Sin This tastes so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Whenever I make a mistake at home, my mother punishes me. I am curious. Did God punish human beings for sinning? Actually, you have just introduced my next topic for me. As a result of sin, there are a lot of consequences that human beings had to bear. Such as? Let us go back to the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. As a result of sin, human beings are alienated from God. Remember that Adam and Eve hid from God because they were ashamed. Yes. This was the end of the beautiful friendship that had existed between mankind and God. And it was replaced by fear instead. Oh no. Initially, Adam and Eve were naked, but it never bothered them. In fact, they were not even aware that they were naked. Until they ate from the fruit in the middle of the garden. Yes. Suddenly, they became shameful of their nakedness and sowed fig leaves to cover themselves with. The innocence was gone. Forever. Also, pain and suffering became part and parcel of human life. God promises women a lot of pain during pregnancy and childbirth. Yes. And of course, the good and unique relationship that existed between man and God was ruined. That's right. As a result, mankind is chased out of the Garden of Eden, never to return. God even puts a revolving sword to guard the garden so as to ensure that Adam and Eve do not come back to the garden. Mankind must have been very sorry for eating the fruit. Well, it was a little too late. The perfect relationship between man and woman was also damaged. Do you remember why a woman was created? Yes, to be a companion to man so that man does not feel lonely. They were also to multiply and fill the earth. That's correct. However, because of sin, a totally different relationship springs up between them. Woman is told that she will constantly desire her husband even though she will be subjected to him. And nobody wants to be subjected to someone else. Exactly. And mankind was left to toil and struggle to meet their needs. No more gardens full of fruits for themselves. No more. They would have to work hard and sweat to the ground to yield anything. As if that is not enough, the very ground that they want to till is also cast. That's true. God puts an enmity between man and the land that he wants to till. Each tries to take life from the other until finally the ground gains the victory. Because upon death, mankind returns to the ground from which they came. Correct. Have you ever wondered why wild animals stay in the wild while domestic animals stay with mankind? Yes, but I have never thought that there is actually an answer to that. The answer is still found in the Garden of Eden. When mankind sinned and they established that, their downfall came from an animal, mm -hmm. and an enmity between the two was planted. Uh -huh. Mankind and animals have to continuously compete for every kind of resources, right from water to food and so on. And mankind eat these animals, which means they are fighting each other for survival. I'm so glad you're getting it. Also, death is passed upon humankind by God. Yes, man is told that he will till the ground until he will return to the very dust from which he was created. Mm -hmm. And that summarizes the consequences of sin committed at the Garden of Eden. From the Garden of Eden, you told me the story of Cain and Abel. And from that story, there are consequences of sin. Mm -hmm. You see, before Cain and Abel, mankind did not know what death is mm -hmm. or what anger looked like. Mm -hmm. But Cain, in his anger, killed his own brother. This was the beginning of murderer's feelings entering man's heart. And even after Cain was sent away from God's presence, the generation that follows is a restless one, and they do not know God. That's right. This generation is full of wickedness, especially after marriage between their daughters and the heavenly beings. The Bible says that their hearts and minds were continuously evil. Anyway, what do you expect? The offsprings were giants. I don't think I would expect something good from giants myself. If you say so. This wickedness angers God to the point that he regrets why he created human beings. He then decides that human beings must not live forever. And that is how the lifespan was reduced so that people can die instead of being wicked forever. You really got the story well. Apart from that, the wickedness led to God deciding to destroy the whole world. And 
the global violence and forbidden marriages were just too much. And so he sent the raging floods to destroy the world. Yes, God was very remorseful for having created mankind. He regretted that the best of his creation turned out to be the worst among them all. He became very angry with man. Except one man, Noah, who was righteous before God. Which is why he and his family were saved from the floods. Now lastly, God confused the human language and dispersed humankind to all corners of the earth. Oh my, indeed sin is so bad as it separates us totally from God. Mm -hmm. And that is why I always insist that we must turn back to God and confess our sins so that he can be merciful to us. Amen to that. Let me wash these glasses before we continue.